A passive house is really simply a house that's very, very well insulated, very airtight, very carefully thought out in terms of how it's put together. A whole idea behind the passive house is to build a building that reduces the demand side of the energy equation. You're making buildings that are super energy efficient, that use 10% of the energy that a standard house uses. And that is huge because it means you don't need fancy mechanical systems. I am rather a Johnny-come-lately to green architecture. Got uh, two children's bedrooms and a... By the end of the 90s, the I was just sort of burned out. A lot of the work was just not very fulfilling. So I, I just was trying to look at how to do it a different way. And this is the thickness of the, of the SIP panel at the roof. The air moves into the house uh, through the living spaces and is exhausted through the bathrooms and kitchen. The hype about passive houses is they don't need a furnace. They don't need a furnace. Uh, that's the main duct that carries all the air from the mini split system. They do need to, to keep fresh air moving through the house constantly. We were making airtight boxes back in the 70s when we were doing super insulated houses. But what we had gotten wrong in the 70s was we didn't understand building science very well. We didn't understand how moisture moves through walls and things about interior air quality. So we were making these very well sealed boxes and people were getting sick in them. And they were also rotting. The interesting invention that they didn't have in the 70s is the energy recovery ventilator. So you're looking at, uh, that is the, the main supply duct for your energy recovery ventilation system. So an energy recovery ventilator is basically a big fan, which runs two streams of air. The incoming air and the outgoing air go past each other, and they go through a matrix of basically straws. And those two air streams pass each other. The walls of those straws are vapor permeable, so they exchange heat and humidity. One of the things that, that make Passive House unique is that they are, are tremendously comfortable because you don't have drafts, you don't have air stratification, you don't have to have sealed windows. These windows are all operable, just like in any house. Uh, on a nice day, you, you can open it up. So this is a Passive House window. Uh, so it's triple glazed and you can see three panes of glass here. You can also see that it is insulated. Uh, and if you look at a typical, uh, a typical double glazed window uh, with a thermal imaging camera, you'll see a big square around it of a different color. Say a $350,000 range house, and you spent 8% more in front end costs and got a standard 30 year mortgage on it. I think the payback time on that is somewhere around 10 years. Uh, based on our energy model, we're figuring our energy cost is going to be around $700 to $750 a year. And the energy is about $2,820, $2,820 uh, $2, for the average house in, in that same zip code. That first cost is worth it when they think of the total cost of ownership. So it's, it's becoming sort of good business to do it rather than just doing the right thing.